You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Problems with Andy. None that I can think of. Your father and I are very worried. Why? You know, everybody has their past lives. But some men sometimes are judgmental about the lives their spouses lived. They fear with men influence the action of their wives, subsequently, their marriage. So they're always scared and skeptical. Mother. Andy and I, we do not have any issues at all. As a matter of fact, we are deeply in love. We love each other so much. It's alright, just that. We don't want him to find out about your past life. And probably cancel the engagement. Mother, he dares not. I mean, he won't. Andy is obsessed with me. He worships the very ground that I walk on. As a matter of fact, mother, he loves me so much. So there's no way he will call off the engagement. And besides, I'm not going to let him know about my past. Or are you? No, no. So It's okay. I just want you to be happy. I am happy, mother. Trust me. Come. I love you so much. I love you too, mother. Thank you. So what are you talking about? Listen, Andy, I know this will be very difficult for you to do, but you just have to do it for my sake. Are you, are you, are you running out of your senses or I what? I have gone completely mad. I have gone cacas. As a matter of fact, I'm about going gaga. I will remove anything that stands on my way. Anybody who wants this benefit that I want can even go more than crazy or better still craggy. Listen. I need to be the chief executive director of Safia Steel Company. I need to get it from my father. She's trying to stop me from getting it, so you need to do something to save me from this shit, please. But that's not part of the deal. I know. Listen, I know it's not part of the deal. Okay, fine. I will add extra 10 million naira to our deal. I mean, to our initial plan. Please, just help me do this, Andy. Do you really have consciousness of morals? Do you know what you're asking me to do? To sleep with your friend because of money? Huh? Come on. That's prostitution. That's not true. Listen, any moral that leads to poverty shouldn't be applied at all. Listen, everyone needs money, even a dog. Fine. Christianity is free, right? But people still need to buy Bible. You get it now? You have to do this for me. Besides, you two are going to enjoy it. It's a mutual feeling. She enjoys it and you enjoy it. Please. Please, Andy. I will reward you. I'll give you more. Just help me get this from my parents. Young man, your true color. I know it. I don't understand, Father. That promising young man told me that he will visit soon. Now weeks have gone. I've not set my eyes on him. 
How else do you want me to know that he's no more interested? Father, I do not know what you're talking about. But I do know that Andy has issues with his business. And he just needs some time to sort it out, that's all. He needs some time to sort things out. Four days gone. Perhaps weeks have gone. And we are towards the end of the month. And the young man is not here to present his people for proper introduction. How else do you want me to know that he's no more interested? Father. Father, you are assuming things wrongly. Trust me. And they just had some issues to sort out and in due time he'll be here. Listen to me, Alba. I will not, I repeat, I will never hand over my company that is worth two million dollars to a wayward and a recalcitrant daughter. You really have to calm down, get married, and prove to me that you're ready before I hand over anything to you. I don't know how I got myself into this. I want riches fine, but not at the expense of the peace of my mind. And that reminds me. Ever since your meeting with the princess, you've not said anything to me. What happened? I mean, fill me in, man. Your guy. Can you imagine what the princess asked me to say? What? She called me to negotiate. She wants me to sleep with her friend, Camilla. Because Camilla wants to tell the king about the marriage contract. And she offered to give me another 10 million naira about it. Eh? Eh? What did you tell her? I objected and she... Are you mad? You objected to what? Hey! How in the name of everything that is saying would you turn down such a juicy offer? Another 10 million naira. Is it good, Hey! And the... Please, you don't understand. This whole thing is breaking my marriage. I beg, leave that thing. Uh -uh. Your marriage needs the money to get things spiced up. You must not lose this deal for any reason. I think everyone around me is getting sick. Andy, you are the one who is sick. Yes, and I think I need to summon the best psychiatrics in the country to have your head examined because it seems to me that you've lost some screws upstairs. How can you turn such amount of money down? Eh? Okay, go and, go, go and sit down. Hmm. It's obvious you're sick. You're the one who is sick, Andy. You're very sick. How can you turn down such offer? Eh? I don't even know whether to cry, to scream, or, or, or to even curse right now. What is wrong with you? Hi. Andy, please, I am begging you. In the name of everything good your mother has taught you, don't let this offer pass us by. Please. I'm telling you. Okay. I'm telling you. You don't know that the worst sickness is lack of money. Just check how many few days, Nancy. Everything has stepped up. Then think of what another 10 million will do for us. Think about it. Huh? Oh, you're covering your ears. Okay. If the princess had picked interest on me, you think all this thing would be happening? You, you are on your way, way to way becoming a millionaire. millionaire. And you have, you have to, to utilize, utilize the opportunity. opportunity. You, you are, are on your, your way, way to becoming a millionaire. millionaire. And you have, you have to utilize the opportunity. opportunity.
did I go wrong? Why more can it come on my radio? Hey, I spent my life Baby, I try as much as possible. Let me just say, it is necessary that I brush you up a little so that you can come up to the standard that I want. Ah. Take this, get yourself a car. And then fix yourself up. <sighs> Darling, you may be having deals with Princess Alba. Oh, the truth is that I love you a lot. You are. You're my kind of man. Ah. And for your sake, I will be considering to stop lesbianism. Ah. Baby. I need you. So tell me. You not rather an evangelist? I love you too, mother. Are you okay, mother? What bothers you? I told you to tell Andy about your past life. But you refused. Uh, mother, this is my relationship and I can handle it. You think so? I know so. Some months ago you came back from the US. Smoking and drinking heavily. Living a party and club life with some of your wild friends. But after some time, we don't see thoughts of cigarettes, bottles of wines littered all over the house. We attribute it as a result of the man that is in your life now. Now your father is afraid. He's concerned that that same man is not being seen around the house. Hmm. What are you hiding? Does he mean he has found out about your past life and called off the engagement? Mother, you worry yourself so much. We are fine. <sighs> Andy and I decided to make our relationship. I mean, we decided to keep it in private. We are fine. We don't have any issues at all. Ah, but nothing is eating under the sun. Tell him yourself so that he can deal with it. Fine. Don't let some other person tell him and ruin your relationship with him. Mother, I've heard you. I will. Your man, your husband, should be your best friend. He should be your confidant. You tell him everything. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Talk of the devil. Yeah, hello. Hey, baby. Where? Okay, okay. No, I'm coming. I'll be with you shortly. Okay. Bye. Mother, um, Andy and I are supposed to be hanging out together today. Nice. 
It's all right. It's fine. Your father and I are going for King Alfred's coronation. Okay. We may be coming back late, so you take care of yourself. I will, mean, mother. <laughs> okay. I cannot keep my prince charming with me. Good luck. Thank you, mommy. See you. Bye. Oh, wow. Your Majesty. I can't believe that you changed overnight. Baby, why are you doing this to me? You promise our love will last all. Where is the love you promised me? I have tried my best to be the best for you. Tell me, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? You tore my heart into pieces. Ah, Zikora. Huh? You're here? Yes, I'm here. Where's my uh, husband? Um, um, Andy. He just went out. Collins, you're not good at lying. It's um, Andy. You don't know my husband again. See, Tell me the truth. Uh, he has not been to this shop today. No. Uh, see, the thing there is that he went to deliver some... Collins! You are the closest friend to my husband. Is he seeing another woman? No, he's not. That would be very much an unfair thing to say about a man as trustworthy as Andy. Look, he just stepped out to drop some clothes to our clients, and I'm sure he'll be back soon. And why would you even think he's cheating on you? Eh? Nothing, I... <clears throat> I'm just being curious. Look, I think you need to learn how to trust your husband. I mean, Andy obviously adores you, and all of us can attest to it. He loves you, he wouldn't have any reason to cheat on you. I mean, so, what did you bring for us? Oh, um, fruits. Uh -huh. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Zikora! Wanyoma! I'll, I'll, I'll be on my way. Thank you so much. Eh? Once he comes back, I'll tell him you were here. You tore my heart into pieces. You make me cry every now and then. Where did I go? Where did I go? Where Mokini come to me with you? I spent my life only in love. This woman is such an angel. Huh? Collins, are you sure you will not purge after eating this fruit? You just lied to an innocent woman. Tell me, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? You tore my heart into pieces. doing the right thing or am I exchanging my marital vows for a plate of porridge? Uh, 
Call it an advantage of you sleeping with a rich girl. <laughs> oh my bad. Well, maybe that's why you took me out on a date. Right or wrong? Not really. I felt I should let you know. Oh, uh, you should let me know. You know what? Why don't you keep the money to yourself? I mean, you need to get yourself a good car because you deserve it and you're not supposed to be tracking all by yourself. So you can keep it. Hmm. What about the meat you don't want? You can have some, sorry. So, closer. She's not closer. Take. <laughs> what's the mean of that? You still want the meat, yes or no? You don't want No, right. what's the mean of that? It's just the case. Please. Do not kiss me again. It's not part of the contract, right? Fine. Sorry. I think you're getting tipsy. We we'll have to go now. I'm not tipsy, I'm fine. You are. I am not tipsy. I can even get her over myself. So why don't you just watch me? Oh my, oh my okay. No. I have to take you home now. Come on, come on. Come on. Fine. come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait, come wait. Come on. Let's go. Okay, I can go over myself. Come on, come on. Myself. Come on let's me. go. She's harassing me. You never told me that he would come. That's unfair. Mm -hmm. um, Have you offered him anything? Uh, uh, no, Your Majesty, I'm, I'm good. No, you need some royal hospitality. Mm -hmm. You're my son-in-law. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Are you all right? Uh, yes, mother. Uh, not to worry. Come with me, son. OK. Just come. You're, you're welcome. Oh, come with me. OK. Come inside so that you can be entertained. Hello, dear. How are you? Where are you from, my 
I'm coming and from... And I ask you, where are you coming from? I am coming from the shop, of course. Ow! You pathetic liar. How dare you lie to me? I was at the shop with Collins and there was no sight of you. Come back again and you reek of that same feminine perfume. not to lie to each other. We made a promise not to lie to each other, but you have changed. You now lie to me at any given opportunity. Yes, sir. Okay, I, 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 am, I am sorry, okay? But see, there is this business deal, a good one, that I'm pursuing. And very soon, this deal I'm pursuing is going to change our lives. And soon as it will match up. Okay? And we'll be fine again. We're going to be fine. I love you, Andy. I love you so much and I'm sorry I slapped you. But please, Stop lying to me. Don't lie to me again, please. I'm sorry. Come on, stop. going to with your bag. Okay, Nemesis. I'm leaving this marriage. You can't continue. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. You can't do this. You know I love you. You know. Who is Camilla? Staying under the same roof, Andy. And you got another woman pregnant. My love, see. See. It's not what you think. Say no more lies. The evidence is obvious. I'm going to leave so that you call them to stay with you here. Do not do this. Don't touch me. Stop this. Please, you don't have to do this. Come on. Wait. Wait. <laughs> 